poor kid. Yeah. What do you want to eat? Let me meet you back at the car. I just got to make this phone call. Okay. Thanks so long, bro. Honey, you don't call me backyard? Huh? Yeah. Oh, disrespect! I noticed the sweater earlier. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's my mom's. You don't mind, do you? No. Nah. She was a good woman, that Mary. I was thinking about you last night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I finished watching that DVD I got from the library. You know, for your mom. I don't know, you wanna hear about this guy? I understand you're not in the mood to uh, Fucking headache that only a fucking bullet could cure, I swear to God. You're sleeping? Who is this motherfucker? You wanna move away from the car? That's right, keep walking. You're a fucking asshole. seen this fucking place. I know, I got the same feeling. I mean, do you want to hear about the DVD, about that guy in the DVD? You know the DVD guy? <coughs> sure. I guess he was like philosopher, but he's more like a benevolent alien hybrid from the future. There's some interesting theories on reality. It's like it's created by our consciousness. The only thing that's real is experience. He was saying that if you can't trust what you see with the naked eye, why should you trust what you see through a microscope or a telescope or these binoculars, for instance? I, I think you lost me somewhere. You see this coffee container here? Yeah. Okay. I'll put it in this hand. And see it's over here? No. That's not the same coffee container. Because when the coffee container is here, mm. it has a certain energy signature, energy equation. And when it's over there, it has a different energy signature. A lot of people think that an object exists in a location. It's actually the location is a property of that object. So the variable is is the location. So what you're saying is. Well, I'm not. Well, so so we, I mean, are you saying that so me, you, me, you, and all these little houses here, none of that exists. Well, it's not me. The guy in the DVD, he's saying that basically 
No, no, no. I think it's, this is interesting. This is interesting. I think. Well, hold on. I think I got it right now because so. This is fucking interesting. It is, so, right? Well, so like for example, my mother, uh, in the hospital last week, huffing and puffing on her ventilator, to the very last second because. Uh, Medicaid told her doctor to switch her stroke medication to a generic brand to save the taxpayers a few bucks a year, which is a good thing, but it killed her. Not such a good thing. But it's possible, according to this guy and you, that it was all in my head. Possible? Wow. I got to get a fucking copy of this DVD because I could show it now to Latrice. Uh, I can say, listen, sweetheart... We thought this piece of shit smoke had murdered your mother, your father, and your little brother, but according to my partner over here and this uh, alien um, hybrid from the future on this DVD, it's possible for you to run down to the store right now, like the Kentucky, you know, first Kentucky Fried Chicken you see. It's possible you might see your parents down there, your little brother, chomping on some uh, uh, chicken wings. I mean, that's some fucking DVD, Dan. I think he was trying to say that it might... I mean, he said a lot, but bottom line is... I think he's saying that it exists in the mind of God or something. It's just something to think about, Bobby. That's all. Something to think about. Well, I'm always looking for something to think about. Fuck me. Ah. I got that flip camera. Does it work? Oh man. Look like Radio Shack, man. Of course that shit works. Hey, how you doing? Any leads? Nah, just sitting and waiting. When are you leaving? Soon. Well, uh, listen, when, when the reunion's over, why don't you give me a call? I'm, I might be able to slip away and pick you up. Uh, I'm not sure, but try me. she leave yet? Yeah, uh, Amanda and her dad came about an hour ago. You know, I was thinking, you know, maybe not the two nights. I, I just think it's too much. Just the one night, all right? Okay. Well, let me go here, sweetheart. And, um... Sorry I can't be there with you tonight. Have a good time. No fooling around. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. How much you want for it? Give me 60 bucks, man. They like a buck 50 brand new. Yeah, but it ain't new, and they give these things out for free at banks when you sign up for an account. Come on, man. I ain't no fucking bank, man. I'll give you 20. 30, man. Not gonna happen, bro. Yeah. <sighs> give me 25. Come on. You got the original box? Now you fucking with me, man. You want this shit or not? Yeah, man. I'm sorry, bro. Give me 20, man. Damn. <laughs> yeah, well, that guy's 18. Come on, man. $18, man? Yo, I see a 20 right there, man. Give me the fucking 20, That's man. Get a haircut. Gotta get a haircut, bro. What you get now? It's not garbage, bro. It's 1080p HD. They're like 150 new. Take a look at it. When, when the reunion is over, why don't you give me a call? I might be able to slip away and pick you up. I'm not sure, but try me. Okay, I need to fucking eat, okay? I fucking. What do you want? You want I go get some Chinese, what Dan? What the fuck? What, Dan? What? This, I can't believe this fucking guy. Can you see him? What? No, where? The, Where? Uh, the, the driveway is the third house up from the mothers. Is he doing what you think he's doing? The Asian guy? Yeah. Do, do you see what he's doing? What do you think he's doing? He's jerking off, right? Fucking scumbag. That's what he's doing. He's fucking dirtbags. I can't stand him. Look at this fucking asshole. What do you want to do? Grab him, I guess. Quietly. Grab him. Right. Let's hey, go. hey, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm eating. Yeah. Come on, Danny, can we get him? Hang on, relax. Oh, this is fucking great, man. Look, it has zoom. It's better than binoculars. Look at the details in the shadows. Oh, my God. That's how you know if it's good. 
We Can should we... all have one of these. Can we just grab the guy, Danny? I want to get proof. All right, good. Let's go. Sucks. Okay, what's your name, asshole? Am I being arrested? No, no, no. We're taking you to your favorite sushi restaurant so you get yourself some hot miso soup. Yes, you're being fucking arrested! What am I being arrested for? Okay, I don't want to be fucking around with this nonsense, okay? I'm going for a fucking cruiser. Hey, Sarge, listen, it's Tierney. We're sitting over here with Smoke's mother's house, and we caught this fucking scale jerking off in the bushes over here. You do me a favor, send the cruiser over here, take it off our hands. Great. Um, tell them I'll uh, meet in front of Sammy's underneath the bridge over there. Yeah, if they can come with their lights off, that'd be great. Okay. Thanks, pal. Thank you. All right, for the last time, Ho Chi Minh, what's your name? Somebody left a sweater back here. Yeah, don't worry about the sweater. Yeah, just try to stay away from him. It's, it's his mother's. Why? We can tell my fucking social security number next. Did your mother pass away recently? Hey, put a sock in it, pal. You're gonna find my fucking fist in it. You understand? Hey, uh, why did you ask if his mother passed away for? Just curious. Danny, don't tell this fucking clown my whole life story. The mother does not want to be here. She needs to move on. What do you mean, move on, Buddha man? I think he's talking about reincarnation. You're talking about reincarnation, right? Reincarnation doesn't exist in Buddhism. I thought reincarnation was uh, one of the teachings of Buddhism. No. Why do most people think it is, then? Most people are... Idiot. How about you? You believe in reincarnation? Oh my god. What is it? The fucking Charlie Rose show, Danny. Give me a fucking break, will you? Relax. I'm just, just interested in this stuff, you know? Hey. Go to town, champ. So, you believe in it? Reincarnation? So what, what kind of jail time could I get for this thing if they find me guilty? You ever been arrested before? No. First offense. Get a good lawyer. You'll be all right. But do me a favor. Get some help, please. And no, I don't believe in reincarnation. Hmm. You know, people turn to religion for simple answers to difficult questions. That's true. And I experience illusion as illusion and reality as reality you motherfuckers you motherfuckers Danny get the fingers from the fucking back the fuck you made some in the car for Danny Sorry, boss. Are you fucking kidding me, Danny? My bad. My fucking bad, Dan. And you motherfucker, you fucking relax! <laughs> they got the fucking sirens on. You believe these fucking knuckleheads? I asked them, don't fucking come with the Bobby Duck! I'm gonna throw you the biggest fucking beating in your life, you fat fuck! Dan. Dan, where is he? Dan, where the fuck is he? Who? Dan, Buddha Man. Where the fuck is Buddha Man? Who? Well, for sure, you guys are gonna come out blasting like Starsky and Hutch. 
Danny, where's the perv guy? What the fuck is wrong with you? Mommy didn't put enough mozzarella cheese on your fucking lasagna when you were a fat fucking kid? I gained a lot of weight because I've been depressed. My mother died. Do you know us? No. Well, you knew we were cops or something? Yeah, I did, but it's nothing personal, man. Nothing personal? There's five fucking holes there! Are you fucking crazy? What the fuck's wrong with you? Aren't you a guy with the fucking dog before? I'm all fucked up, man. I can't help it, I'm all fucked up. Bobby, you okay? Bobby. Yeah. Danny, I could... You smell vinegar? I don't know why I smell you a lot. Why? What's up? I don't have the balls to kill myself. I thought you guys were gonna do it for me. Do a fella a favor. A nice young asshole, he may get your wish. You hear this guy? during the fucking morning. Where have you been, Bobby, Susan? Bobby, stop shouting or I'm leaving. What the fuck is that smell, Susan? What? Well, you smell like the beach or something. I don't know what you're talking about. The reunion ended at midnight. Where the hell have you been? How's that the new name? Yeah, no shit. I could smell the cheap beers and the grasshoppers off your breath, but I could also smell the beach. Why? We went to Coney Island. You were at Coney Island just now? Yeah. I've been sitting here since fucking midnight worried about you. You can't call me? I didn't want to wake you up. So what were you doing at Coney Island? No, we just went to Nathan's as a goof. Who's we? Well... Um, me and Eddie Finn, I mean, a bunch of other people were going to go, but then they just didn't. Eddie Finn. You were at Coney Island just now with Eddie Finn. Yes. I hope you're kidding me, Sue. I'm not. Well, he was the only one at the reunion that would talk to me. And you got on the train this weather to go all the way out to Coney Island. No, we drove. Why do you smell so strong of the ocean, though, Susan? I don't know. No, don't fucking tell me you don't know, because it's coming off your fucking face and your hair and your clothes like a fucking fox. It, it's just it's in the air down there. What? You smell like you got pretty goddamn close to it, though. Why? I, I don't know. We were in the car. We ate in the car. But it, we ate in the car. You ate in the car? Well, he was kind of tipsy, you know, I guess. So we drove down by the water. And my window was cracked, so, you know, I just think it just got all over me. I believe there's a boardwalk there the last <laughs> time I looked. Yeah, he drove up and over that rampy thing. So after you wait, then what? Don't interrogate me, cop. Hey, I'm curious what keeps my wife out talking to some fucking knucklehead till 4.30 in the morning out in Coney Island. Okay, I'm codependent that way, Sue. Uh... Hey, we were talking about politics. <laughs> politics. You were talking about politics. Yeah. You were talking about politics? Yeah. What the fuck do you know about politics? Well, I don't, but yeah. he does. Oh, yeah? A couple of clams and uh, he's uh, Dr. Kissinger all of a sudden? Huh? He's a green anarchist, okay? He doesn't, you know, watch TV or, or read the newspapers. You know, he thinks it's all propaganda. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's a what? 
A green anarchist. Yeah, and what the fuck is a green anarchist? <laughs> you know, it's uh, somebody who thinks civilization ain't so civilized, you know? I mean, he said you either control the people with a big stick or a big lie, and in this country, it's a big lie. I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> yeah, keep fucking laughing. Green anarchist. Green fucking what? Bunch of hippies who do three push-ups every other fucking month of the year? She learned something new and fucking with me. Give me a fucking break, Susan. Hey, you, you, you give me a break. You know, Susan, you got some fucking balls to look at me like that, okay? 4.30 in the fucking morning, out there with fucking Eddie Finn and Coney Island. You think I'm gonna fucking wind up in the nut house over you and your bullshit? Fuck you, sister. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. What? The food at the reunion? You couldn't eat it, really. Before she was here and she saw her fucking mother stumbling and like... Was it the tail on a fucking banana peel? Listen, I'm sorry if you think I did anything to hurt you. I really am. Stop talking. I should have called. Okay, you're right. I should have called. I'm sorry. Okay? I won't do it again. Don't be mad at me, okay? Oh, is that how you suck this cock? Some of these seem pretty full of fuck around here. I wonder why. There's no love in this house anymore. Yeah, tell me. Just give it. Where are you going, Sue? My sister. Yeah. Well, that's what you're good at. Run, run, run. Marissa, where is it? Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come, Marissa. My fucking cock is not fucking bolted on there like a fucking lamppost. F fucking thing is. It's as fucking raw as fuck. Come on, huh? What are we fucking teenagers? Sit in, sit in my underwear. We can't let that go to waste. Stop fucking around. No, I got. I gotta get to work. Where, where are my underwear? But Marissa, stop fucking around. I gotta get to work. Fucking mouth. Oh, no. oh yeah, fuck. Oh, don't do it to me, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, don't do it. Don't be real dirty, fucking. Not to be fucking you. Yeah, real dirty. And another guy. Oh yeah, fuck that guy. Fuck you right up the ass, man. You're up my ass. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I'm sucking this other fool off. Oh yeah. Fucking, fucking, sudden, fucking. Oh, I want you to come up my ass and all over my fucking face. Oh, you fucking motherfucker. Mm. Oh, oh, come on. So I'm sucking this other fool off. Oh, man, suck that fucking feet off. 
Your father. Mmm. Bobby, your daddy's fucking my face. Mmm. And he shoots his nasty load into my fucking mouth and I spit it into your face. Was fun to. Huh? Alan, we're, we're on camera, camera, right? What? Can you hand me a wipey? Uh, rest it, please. Um, there's no more. There's no more fucking wipies because you fucking clean your cunt up like Mother Teresa after a fucking gangbang. If you don't find me a fucking clean wipey to wipe my face off, I'm gonna shoot the fucking car up in 10 seconds. Get that fucking thing away from me. But this corner is clean. It was up your ass. Give me a fucking... There's another container in the back. Hey. Hey, what is this? Fucking circus fucking soleil all the time, Marissa? I hope you're using fucking condoms with these other assholes out here. What do you think? Yeah, what do I think? I don't think. You fuck me like, like the first time, baby. Yeah, which lucky uncle was that? I told you about my uncle. I you figure it. I never told you. Where do you want me to drop you off? I gotta get the fuck out of here. I thought we were gonna go like hang out. Look at the time I fucked up. I gotta get, I gotta get to work. Here's good. He's here, here. Yep. Marissa, here, here, here. This You don't want to be walking around here like a fucking yo-yo now, okay? You're going to wind up fucking... What? This is not cool to be trolloping around here now at this time of the hour, okay? I have to tell you that. Don't get all pissy shitty on me, Marissa. I'm just asking you where you want me to drop you off. I know where the fuck I am. Yeah, where okay. are you? 116th near the river. Okay. Okay, you were nodded out when we drove in here. Let me at least drive you up to the fucking train station. I know this place very well. Very fucking well. He's gonna try to tell me shit. That's why I know where I am. Fucking asshole. Do you know where you are? Danny, do me a favor. We, I'm running a little late over here. Um, let me meet you at the diner and uh, um, grab me a bagel and a, a coffee, will you? I'll be there like 15 minutes. You got it. Okay, thanks. Bye. What? Nothing. What are you mumbling about? I ain't mumbling, man. I grew up around here. Yeah, okay, you grew up around here. How would I know? Threw myself in the water over there once. Lucky me. Still here with Mr. Fucking Warren. What? What are you saying? I didn't say nothing, man. Good, because it sounds like you're running your neck all over the fucking place. Why don't you give it a rest, huh? Really, Bobby? Running your neck? You're so fucking hood. I give you my ass all fucking morning, and now you gotta run off to brunch with the fucking in-laws in Queens Boulevard or wherever the fuck it is you go. I gotta go to work. What do you want me to do? Well, who's stopping you? See you when I see you, Mr. Policeman. Why are you mind fucking me for, huh? I'm not mind fucking you. I tell you I threw myself into the fucking Hudson and you're like, let's wrap it up, crack hole. I gotta get to work. Okay, well, why did you throw yourself into the Hudson River? Huh? 
Huh? Why did you throw yourself into the Hudson River, Marissa? Because my fucking life sucked. That's why. Yeah. Well, who's didn't? But not everybody's hurling themselves into the fucking Hudson River when they have their fucking period, okay? I'm sorry. I just, I have this fucking case in my mind and I gotta get to work. It's okay. So, tell me why I drive you up to the train station. Makes sense. No, t tell me now. I want to hear it now. It's a long story. Then tell me the short story. <sighs> I had this uncle and he wanted me to go down on him this one night. How old were you? Mm. 14, 15, something like that. Didn't you tell your parents? No. He fingered me and shit, and he'd give me money. Nice uncle. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't suck him. He had the sorry looking dick. Anyway. This one night, um, he was babysitting me and my brother, and uh, and he sent my brother to the store, and he attacked me. So I pretended I was gonna go down on him, and I got away. Dirt bag. Yeah. <sighs> I wanted to check out. Not so much because of my uncle, but just much other shit was just wrong in my life. So I ran up to the river and I jumped in. It was nighttime. And you know, I just I figured I'd keep swimming until I couldn't swim anymore. And I just go under. Yeah, man. Marissa, and, and. Oh my god. You don't fucking finish the story, I'm gonna put a fucking slug in your head. So. I got pretty far out there. And, uh, I got really tired. Plus, I started swallowing that nasty-ass Hudson water. <laughs> and just my fucking luck. This police boat comes floating up to me from out of nowhere with its searchlight on. Look at this fucking asshole. Look at this fucking asshole. Asshole! Put the fucking lights in the sign, let's fucking anybody listen to you for fucking the city. Hey, asshole! Are you kidding me? Police officer, what are you what are you thinking? You're gonna drive home like this? Yeah, step out of the car for a second. Let me get those keys. Over there. Okay, turn around. See these? There. Go home. Take the train, take a bike, whatever you gotta do. You asshole! Sorry, um, um, what, the, um, the, the police boat, the, p the police boat came floating up to you, and then what? 
Marissa, the police boat came up to you and then what? Nothing. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, Pops. How'd you know I was here? What's that I know? You can't take a piss around here without everybody knowing your business. Want to say hello to Danny? Hey, Mr. T, how you doing? You hanging in there, champ? I know that you think that life is just going to keep blossoming and blossoming like some goddamn cherry tree or something. I wish you well, brother. I do that. We were just passing by. I thought I'd say quick hi. I just have to get back to the city. How's your little movie coming along, Mr. Hitchcock? Movie? What are you... One movie. Oh, that... that oh, Mosning? You guys got edited. I ain't, I ain't seen any of that. You were here last week. Did it not seem to you that on the, on the occasion of his mother's memorial service, that having a goddamn bagpipe play and a photographer there made it seem like a fucking carnival in Argentina or something? I don't know. I, I think it's nice to have for the record. You know, kids like it. You think they're going to forget their grandmother so quick? I don't know. People's memories. I personally don't leave my house these days without leaving a chalk line behind me to how to get back home. Is that what you call Greek wit or something? I ain't Greek, buddy. Be nice, okay? Nicey, 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 nice. I tell you, there's a, uh, there's a lawsuit against me. I'm kidding me. I wish I was kidding me. Well, tell them the size of my asshole, why don't you? Yeah, why don't you tell them the size of mine, huh? You know, you. Fucking beers give me a workout. You know? I need a fucking beer. Hey! Things work. Got one left. That's for me. Shouldn't be sitting out here all day, Pop, drinking in this weather. I'm okay. Yeah, Mr. T, you really should be careful. It's cold. We find people your age up on a roof all the time, frozen. You cold? Yeah, a little bit, yes. Well, I suggest you pour yourself a hot water bottle and crawl back up inside your mother's cunt where you belong, Zorba. Jesus Christ. Jesus. At least he rubs a little spit on his cock before he jams it in you. Fucking cops. What's the matter with you? Huh? What's the matter with you? Rasheen can't visit unless somebody dies around here, is that it? 
She's in school. You could jump on the fucking subway anytime and come visit. She didn't call you yesterday? She's supposed to call you yesterday. What about? Nobody called me. Some, some school thing, I don't know. I won't hold my breath. Yeah, no one's asking you to hold your breath, okay? She probably thought right now you didn't want to be bothered with things. Yeah. I'm sure that's it. But, you know, she's just all, you know, with Ma, and, and on top of that, she was seeing this fucking kid and they broke up. Well, he broke up with her little fucker. Oh, poor Rasheen. You didn't tell me, Bob. Yeah. You know, you swung those fucking beers around like a mouthwash commercial. I need a fucking beer. You want a beer? No. Give me one of those uh, kombuchas that I've been drinking. A kombucha? Yeah, it has the probiotics. I was talking about detoxifiers, the enzymes, all this healthy stuff. You're not going to have that shit over here. I'm going to a bodega. You don't want a beer? No. Just go to the organic section. They probably have an organic section. They don't have a fucking organic section out here. You want a beer? No? Yes? What? You want beer? Beer? No. What do you want? A, a case keg? What do you want? Bring me a six. A six. And a Frank. I'm. They got Franks at the bodega? I'm just going to bodega. Nathan's is right there. Yeah, I don't have time to go to Nathan's right now. Just bring me a goddamn Frank, will you? You, you want anything on it? Mustard and onions. Mustard and onions? Make it two. Two? Dan, you want it, Frank? No. I'll take a knish. They don't have knishes there. They have knishes. They don't have knishes. You want it, Frank? They have knishes. What do you want on it? It's like mustard, if, mustard. if they have it, uh, horseradish. Horse, I'm, I'm not going to the fucking Russian tea room. I'm going to Nathan's. They have horseradish? They don't fucking have, they don't have horseradish. They have horseradish, it's right behind the counter. All you gotta do is ask for it. I'm not fucking standing next to the register right now for 20 fucking five minutes, waving the next customer on while fucking Aldo looks for a fucking jar of horseradish down the fucking basement. You want ketchup, you want fucking mustard? What the fuck you want, Danny? He said that they have horseradish. Was he like that as a kid? A fucking asshole. Hey, where you heading, sweetheart? To Bob. Bob who? He's a cop. Oh, Bob's a detective. <clears throat> what happened to your shoes? You don't say much, do you?
Fucking open the door. Fucking open the door. What the fuck are you thinking? I can't believe you're knocking on my door. Didn't I tell you that's back to my girlfriend? Huh? Yeah, where, are you, where are your shoes and your coat? They were stolen. Can I have some juice? Juice? I don't have any juice. You're you fucking knocking on my door for fucking juice. You don't have any money on you? No. Well, Ab, you gotta get out of here. Go, go. Don't ever come back here and knock on my fucking door. Ab, go. I'm not kidding around. Hey. You think I'm kidding around? Go, Ab, go. And don't ever. Yeah. Come here. Fucking crazy, Ab. Yeah. Come on, huh? How the hell did you get into the building? A guy let me in. What did he say to you? Nothing. Did you find my wallet last time I was here? Your wallet? No. You didn't find a wallet here, Ab. I left it here. I don't remember where I left it. What? I, I hope you didn't leave no wallet here. I didn't find no wallet. Hey, hey, leave your hands alone. Come on, Ab. Look at this shit. The world war. What's the matter with you picking at your hands still? Huh? Sit on him, I swear to God, I'll go get my machete and I'll cut him off, I'm not kidding around. Ab, luckily my girlfriend is not here at the moment, okay? Promise me you won't ever do that again and come knocking on my door for fucking juice, are you kidding me? Ab! Where is she? She's at work, but she could walk in any second and if she did, trust me, Hey, if she did, we'd both be fucking laid out here right now with 338 fucking slugs in our skull. Are you kidding me? Think, 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 think. Huh? I'm sorry, I don't mean to be yelling at you. You can't knock on my door like that, Ab. Are you taking your meds? I don't take pills. When's the last time you took them? Ab, when is the last time you took your medication? What pills? What pills? The pills that make me look pretty in the morning. What pills? The pills for your schizophrenia. Hmm? I hope you're not smoking uh, PCP or whatever the hell it was you were smoking the last time, are you? The m Why are you always, like, sad looking? Hmm? Ab, why are you all, like, sad looking? Come on. We gotta get you out of these fucking clothes and cleaned up and... I gotta get to work, Ab. I'm knocking on my door for fucking juice. Get in here. Grab that bottle of champagne from the fridge. Where's the champagne? I didn't see anything. <sighs> Mike, get out of your clothes and uh, let me see that sweet ass of yours, girl. I can't. What do you mean you can't? You know, you close, Ab. I'm all hurt down there. What do you mean you're hurt down there? I had a baby. I don't feel good down there. Ab, you had a baby? Ab, you had a baby for real? Yeah. I think it's your baby. What are you talking about? We, we had sex once. We used the condom. Not always. No, 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 no. We had sex once and I used No, the I remember the last time. No, 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 no. Sweetheart, listen. We had we had intercourse once and I pulled out. Then the other time you gave me a blowjob. So. Well, she looks just like you. She looks just like me? 
that's what she has blonde hair, blue eyes, little mustache, carries a gun on her, 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 her. She looks just like me. Where is she? With my mother. But I don't like her with my mother. Why? I think she might try to kill it. Ah, if your mother is not going to kill your baby, don't think shit like that. There's nothing crazy shit like that. They're going to drag you off to the nut house again. Guarantee you. I mean, and why? It could be any guys. I mean, I'm, I'm sure not the only white guy you ever slept with, right? Yeah. I'm the only white guy. So all you like is black guys and Puerto Ricans. That's what you're telling me? No, I like lots of guys. Oh, you like lots of guys. So you, you like sex now? I don't think I got that memo right. Of course I do. I have an orgasm every night. I even have one from the back. What do you mean? What do you mean from the back? Anal sex. Anal sex? Um, you having anal sex with these fucking knuckleheads out here? Are you kidding me? Are you using protection? Huh? And every night? And what, you like it? Yeah. You like it? You're a naughty girl fucking at, well, I mean, look at me here. You got me all fucking hard. What am I supposed to do with this? You think you can just suck me a little bit? Huh? Just suck me a little bit? Yeah? Oh, that's right, yeah. Oh, fucking good girl. Oh, yeah, what you do, what you do, what you do. Oh, you fuck. Oh, you fuck, yeah. Suck like a big fucking black cock, baby. Suck like a big fucking black cock. Oh, you fuck. Oh, you fucking. Give me that fucking air. Go, oh, you fucking shit. Oh, fucking shit. Oh, fucking shit. Hey. Hey. We gotta stop running into each other like this. Nice shoes. You're really gonna need them. It's cold out there. Where are you heading? You wanna go upstairs? I got some wine. Come on up. Hang out a while. Come on, I don't bite. A little drink. Talk a little bit. Come on. Yes, can I help you? Um, is Bob there? Bob who? He's a cop. What's this about? I left my wallet here. That's my grandmother's cold. No, this is my coat. He gave it to me. Yeah, but it's my grandmother's. You his girlfriend? Uh, no, I'm his sister. Ha! Get, get your coat and go. Go see if Amanda's home. Throw your own kid in the gutter, why don't you? Call me in an hour! You really not his girlfriend? Uh, you have come in? Come here. He told me not to come back here no more. Well, he's at work. He's going to be gone a while. I mean, I can look for your wallet. Really, it's okay. You can... I'm sorry, I'm just a little bit confused. 
And when was the last time you saw Bob, exactly? Yesterday, I came from my wallet, but I forgot where it was. Okay. So you left your uh, wallet here on another occasion? Mm. Like a year ago? When you were here a year ago, did you sleep here? Did he put you up for the night? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that must have been nice. I'm sure it was real cold out. He can be nice like that sometimes. Yeah, he be nice. So, when you were here yesterday, did you sleep with him again? I mean, it's okay, because, you know, he's a free agent, so I'm just... I just know he likes sex, and... Yeah. So what do you do with Bob? Suck him. Oh, lucky guy. Good to know he's fucking, you know. You know how they get when they aren't. But you gotta use protection. You do use protection, don't you? Sometimes. Yeah. I know, I hate them too, but you gotta protect yourself against AIDS, you know? I don't have AIDS. So you've had a test then, you, an AIDS test? You know, just be careful. Sure you don't wanna sit? I mean, but it, you know, whatever, comfortable. Where do you live? With my grandmother. Yeah. Is that where you sleep? I slept on the subway. Mm. But you're so young. You should be in school, you know? And you're so pretty. Thanks. Well, you could be going to school for free with student loans and stuff like that. I could help you, you know, filling out any applications or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. You hungry? I got tuna. You like tuna? Yeah. You want tomatoes on it? I have milk. Is that okay? Yes. Do you have a pad? A what? A pad. Oh. Uh, I mean... That. Is that okay? Do you know where the bathroom is?
Okay. Oops. Did you take out the applicator? I think so. Both of them? You know, they're two parts. Well, you need to go back in there. All good? Do you have a boyfriend? Mm. Yes and no. Can I ask you something? Do you guys do drugs when you're together? I mean, like, what kind of drugs? Like heroin? Crack? I like crack. And Bobby smokes it too, right? I mean, it's, you know, it's cool. It's, I just always wondered why he was in a good mood most of the time. Might have to try some for myself one of these days. You have a toothache? Yeah. Better get that looked at. You got some place to go? You want an aspirin? I have aspirin. No. They make me vomit. Are you okay? Do you know Alfonso? I don't think so. Why? Who is he? He's a wizard. <laughs> a wizard? He used to kiss me with his tongue by this lake where we used to catch tadpoles. And he would like rise up in the air like up to my kneecaps. <laughs> Get out. Mm-hmm, true. <laughs> and then he would lick my pussy with a rat's tongue in a tree and shit. How? How old were you? Do you like anal sex? Uh, I never tried it. Oh. Why do you ask? I better go. I need to be somewhere. Okay. Well, here. I'll give you my number. And I want you to call me if you need any help with any of the school applications or anything like that. Okay? I'm serious. Call me. I know you're serious. I'll put it into my kitchen. <laughs> you know what? you take this? I got money. No, I know you have money. This is for the dentist. It's $120. Put it in your shoe or someplace safe where no one can get it.
nice to meet you. Can I ask you just, just one more thing? And if it's too personal and you don't want to answer, just don't answer. What? Did, did you and Bobby have anal sex the last time you saw him? I don't remember. Yeah. Okay, you don't remember. Did you have regular sex? I mean, you probably did, right? Probably. Well, I mean, you know, it's no biggie. <laughs> that guy just tells me nothing, so. Bye. What the fuck? What the fuck? How'd they get in here? I don't know. I left the window open a little last night, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that is just fucking amazing. I'm not touching that thing. Come on, stuff for mm -mm. Bobby, I, I can't. Marissa, just put the fucking thing out, will you? But I don't like pigeons. I don't. I can't. It's not. No, it's not gonna happen. It's just. Marissa, if you don't put it out, I'm gonna fucking throw it right out the fucking window. I'm not kidding. There's a little egg in there, Bobby. What if, what you... if we break it? Throw the fucking thing out the fucking window. I fucking can I, get, can I fucking sleep around here for fucking once? Uh, why am I in trouble with Ma? She'll tell you. No, you tell me, Rush. Where are you? I'm at work. Where do you think I am? Why are you in school? I am. I'm on my way. For the last time, why am I in trouble with Ma? Some woman came over yesterday. 
and said that you did drugs with her? This is some kind of joke, Roche. No, I'm serious. And what'd she look like? She was black. Her name was Abigail. She said that she left her wallet under you and Mommy's bed, and it was there. Do you know her? Dad. Yeah. What? Do you know her? Yeah, she's just some, um, she's just some crazy woman that I, I arrested once for drugs. Uh, where's Mommy now? She's at the house with Aunt Ashley. What are they doing? Well, when I left, she was crying. She called movers to pick up your stuff. Okay, listen, it's just a big misunderstanding, okay? It's, um, just go to school. I'm gonna call Mommy right now. Don't worry about it, all right? Just a big misunderstanding. I think the movers are on their way. I understand. Just go to school. It's okay, okay? How did the wild get under the bed, though? Me and Danny, we were driving by the house once, and uh, we were taking her to court, and she needed to use the restroom, so... We were going by the house and let her use it. She must have done it then. Uh, but, uh, again, it's just, it's just misunderstanding. So just... Don't worry about it. Let me go call mom. Let me go, okay? I love you. Okay, bye, Dad. Love you. Oh, fuck me in the head. Fuck me in the head. Oh, I fucked up. I really fucked up. So, can you help me with my class assignment? Time is of the essence. Hit me with it one more time. Write a thousand word essay on a community elder and what they most pine for from their days of yore. Things weren't so great back then either. Gotta be something. Take your time. Maybe something about Ireland? Ireland? I come over here when I was just a little kid. You got any other questions there? No, that's it. Maybe you should ask somebody else. I'm just not myself today. Because of Grandma? Uh, I'm sorry. I just... I just can't be touched right now. I understand. I was gonna ask Dad, but... He hasn't been home lately. New case? I guess. What about Stephanie Rotansky? Hmm? It's a little Polish girl from Brooklyn. And? She was your father's girlfriend, his first girlfriend. And they were uh, they kissing in a tree, they told me. My father told me this. And Stephanie had these uh, tropical lifesavers. And every few kisses, there'd be a new flavor. Mango, papaya, coconut. I always remember that. Beware the hummingbirds with their mouths smoother than oil. What's that? It's from a song. I had this girlfriend up in Washington Heights before I met your grandmother. 
She used to cook yucca for me. You know what that is, yucca? It's like a Puerto Rican potato. Yeah, she was Puerto Rican, all right. I used to write songs for her during the day. At night, I'd come out here and smash them on the rocks over there. The days of your sister. The days of your. Why you? What is this? Was this the fucking Dinah Shore show? The, the the interview part? You're something. You know that. What is this? The Dinah Shore show? What the fuck is that? You try and be human. Have a conversation, maybe. Why are you asking about her? I mean, what do you care about? <laughs> you know what, Bobby? You are absolutely right. I do not give a fuck. Fuck you. That's all you can tell me about your mom who just fucking died? That she likes dogs and rhubarb jam? You're a fucking pig! What is it you fucking want from me? I knew it from as soon as you got in the fucking car, it was gonna be one of those fucking nights where you wanted to fuck. You, I, you, you're not gonna be fucking happy until I fucking put my fist down my fucking throat into my stomach and fucking dredge it all up for your fucking entertainment, right? You want all the fucking piss and the shit and the scum and the fucking menstrual blood, right? That's fuck what, you! Yeah, fuck you! Right? My fucking mother! The fuck does that have to do with you? Okay, you want a okay, you want a fucking nice little fucking memory. Here's a nice little fucking memory, okay? First, my first memory, okay? You can believe this or not, Marissa. Believe it or not, but I am in my mother's womb, and I remember it. I don't remember the face of my own fucking kid, but I was in my mother's womb. And she's sitting on the closed toilet seat. And my father is sleeping off a fucking hangover in the bathtub. And she's terrified. She thinks this fucking idiot is dead. And she puts a hand over his mouth to see if he's breathing. And he was. So she goes into the kitchen to make herself a cup of tea to settle her nerves. Put the radio on. And I remember Sinatra came on scene. Not that I knew who Sinatra was, but I'd heard the song before. And I started singing along with it and humming. I remember she gasped till she heard me singing. And then my father comes in, stumbling into the kitchen like a fucking Barber's razor. And he's just yelling, What the fuck are you making all that racket for? He says, Johnny. Maybe 
He's gonna be a singer. I heard him now. Just singing. And his face went to as red as the underside of the kettle. He said, you crazy fucking bitch. And he lurched at her and grabbed a bite of hair. Pulled her onto the kitchen floor. Fuck you, you fucking asshole! Puerto Ricans, man. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? It sure was nice out here, Ma, huh? She hung up on me. Well, you want me to put her back on? Nah, it's alright. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm kind of in the middle of something, so... Okay. You know, I caught her on one of those video chat rooms the other day. Talking to some guy who had to be in his 40s. Jesus, they need to pay to get on those sites? I don't know, Bob. You were the one that was in Vice. You should know. It was all these older guys jerking off. It's disgusting. Oh, and then I noticed in history on her computer that she had Googled how to lie to your parents and get away with it. You're kidding. So, what, there was nothing specific? Pacific. No. What? I know you're thinking something. No, not really. What? You know. You're all talk, Bob. Big fucking talk. It's not talk. You're, you're, uh, you're my world. I'm nothing without you. You brought the streets into this house. Those women cleaning their stinking pussies with the same soap and towel our daughter uses before she goes to school in the morning. These sad street creatures on all fours for you. With their soles flapping like plastic bags up in a tree. Good job, Bob. You always complaining how we did it and no one ever complained before. Oh, yeah, yeah, so you said. You fucked me like we were in a porn movie. I guess crack just makes a girl more sexually adjusted, huh? I hope you're miserable for the rest of your pathetic life.
Who's that? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing. What's going on? The other morning, uh, when we woke up, um, did we find something in the car? You mean the pigeon nest? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Why? No reason. You should type. What? Oh, man, come on, man. You should type, you pussy type. For $40 it is. For $40? $30? I eat that pussy good. I'm full of fuck, you hear me? I don't care if that shit is stinking or bleeding. When I go down, I don't come up for air. I eat that pussy like apple pie. Am I gonna see you later? Um... Yeah, maybe not tonight. Um... I give you a call though, okay? Okay, I, uh, I guess I'll just, I'll see you when I see you then. Okay, I see you. Thanks. Listen, uh, Peterson to the end of the case with El Haas. Uh, do you know Marissa Diaz? Well, how well do you know her? I met her and her friend. Um, who's who's her? Who's the friend? Marissa. I don't I don't know her friend's name. She was a white girl. She had all these stupid piercings on her face. I gave this white chick some money for some shit, and she never came back. I left her, Marissa, there near these freight tracks. I went looking for her friend, and I never found her. So why'd you lie to us? I heard what happened to her. I was with her that day. But I didn't want to get all caught up in this bullshit. And then what? And then, uh, I got something to eat and I wound up falling asleep on the subway. And what station did you get on at? 125th and Lex. And where did you eat? Just a jar from a guy in the corner. What time are we talking now? 2 a.m., something like that. You had a jar at 2 a.m.? Yeah, the guy was there last night. Corner where? 125th and Lex, man, near the train station. So who was the guy you got hired with? Who was he? Yeah, I did that later in the night after I ate. I went to men and women, but I didn't want to get into all that. I slept in his car all night till the morning. Louis, you're lying to us about things. You have no reasons to lie about. What's up? 
666, does it mean something to you? The beast number, everyone knows that. What does it mean to you, Lewis? 666. I ain't always been a good person. Hey, Bob. Lewis, first you strangled her, then you stabbed her in the back five times. And then you gutted her and pulled her whole fucking inside like a fucking monster, Lewis! Yes, ma'am. I don't deserve to be a human being no more. Um, you want a coffee or Coke? I'll take a coffee. Uh, do you mind, please? I'm sorry. Sure. You want some? Yeah, I'll take the same without sugar. Thank you. Want to slip out for a second? Uh, yeah, I just want to talk to this guy for a second. You okay? Yeah. You want it? Mm -hmm. I didn't show it to anybody. It's your business. All right, if you need anything, I'll be at my desk. Miserable fucking day. Thanks for the coffee. Morning. Morning. Sorry I'm late. Are you? Yeah, yeah, I was fucking this 18 year old. What a freak. Look at my asshole. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, just give me a second. X <sighs> over there with turtles, no rush. Oh, great. Thanks. <sighs> Where's your mom? Um, she took a little swim. Swim. Oh. 
How old is this uh, kid? 15, 16. Thirty-eight in the face. That's what they're saying. Over oh, name calling. <laughs> People knew what we knew. They put their families in the boat, paddle like hell. So what do you say, uh, Bobby boy? Kick some doors in. What? I just, I just can't get a fucking wink, man. Again, huh? I'm sorry. You okay? Is he okay, Bobby? I shaved my whole body last night. What? I shaved my body. I was taking a bath in a new place, and I guess the woman who had it before me, she left a razor there, and before I knew what I was doing. Were you drinking? A couple beers. What's a couple? Three, four, nothing. What do you mean you shaved your whole body? My whole body. What the fuck do you think I mean? My whole body. What, what, what for? Better sex? Blowjobs? What? What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, nothing. Don't worry. Just... <sighs> you ever do something like that before? No, my whole body and my legs. I was into biking once. Yeah, I started on my legs, and next thing I fucking know, the bathtub's full of fucking hair. I, I think I'm fucking cracking, man. I really think I'm fucking cracking. Not cracking, Bob. You'll die a happy man. You'll see. It's gonna be okay. So fucking exhausted. Get an idea. Why don't you just, just call in sick? Go home. I'll tell him that you came here and you vomited all over the place. Come on, I'll drive you home. Bobby, I'm gonna drive you home.
joy was never sure Today we'll die tomorrow Time stoops to no man's lore And love grown faint and fretful With lips but half regretful Sighs and with eyes forgetful Weeps that no love endure I still don't know Why you